In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get full body haki in Blocks Fruits very, very easily and very quickly. So I'll show you how to get it in one day, even if you don't have an elemental fruit. So you can have any type of fruit, you can still do this method. So let's get right on into it. Subscribe. So first, what are the five stages of haki? Well, actually six, but there's a stage zero. So the first stage or stage zero is just half the arms, which is the default set of Haki if you go to buy it. The second stage is stage one, which is where all your arms are covered in Haki. The second stage is your torso, the most of the torso. The third stage is most of the head and all the torso and all the arms. Stage four is all that plus half the legs. And stage five is finally full body. So those are the different types of Haki. However, you will probably be able to get stage five Haki in just one day by doing this method. All right, so just in case you're wondering where to actually get Haki in the beginning, you want to come over to Snow Village. And you want to come over to this spot where you can walk inside as you can see, there's going to be a color specialist and an abilities teacher. So, as you can see, you can buy different things. Air jumps are really important, but aura is what you want to buy. So, um, it says not enough money. I already have aura equipped. As you can see, this is aura. Um, it's the same thing as haki. Okay, and the three most important things you need to get full body haki and grind for it is an elemental fruit. So that is the first one, which is really important. So the enemies don't damage you while you're AFK. The second thing is to also make sure that the NPCs don't have Haki on. So, so obviously you have to have Haki on too. Which Okay, so my recommendation is if you do have a private server, go to your highest NPCs. So obviously I'd go to green zone and I'd farm the NPCs there. But for most people you probably don't have a private server. So then, in that case, you want to actually go to first C, so then there'll be less people trying to kill you. So the first thing you want to do is go to your highest opponents in the first C. So for me, that'd be Fountain City, and I think for everyone else, that would also be Fountain City, unless you're a lower level than that. So make sure you have an elemental fruit. But at Fountain City, I'm going to show you both ways, so not just the elemental fruit. So as you can see, I'm going to equip my light fruit and i got to get over to water 7 area. So it is right over here, so let's go. Now, just in case you are having problems um, with enabling Haki, I will also show you how to fix that in this video too. So as you can see, when I come over here, I, I have equipped my light fruit, which is an elemental fruit. So it, that way I can now farm the NPCs without getting hit. So as you can see, they just go straight through um, me. So, so basically, basically, equip an elemental fruit and make sure to enable your Haki. And then I'm going, you want to find you, the sword with the least amount of mastery. So for me, I'm checking it. It is the Cutlass. Now, if you're wondering why my Katana is 180, it's obviously because I was farming Haki with it. But here is a cutlass and I'm just going to stand here. So I'm just going to stand here and I'm just going to start clicking away. Now, make sure that you, that you have an auto clicker. So I'm going to get my auto clicker open right here. I'm just going to set that to zero milliseconds. I know that's not possible, but if I hit F6, it's just going to continue clicking for me. And I basically ran this for about six hours and I had full body at the end of the day. So that was really cool. I just had to do this for a few hours and I had full body Haki which is extremely cool. Now for those of you who are wondering how to do this if you don't have an elemental fruit I'm just going to equip my only non-elemental fruit which is my leopard fruit and as you can see if I just stand here I'm going to get damaged pretty badly. So instead I'm going to stand right here where they can't damage you but I can damage them and then I can just turn on my auto clicker and they're just going to be getting hit um, over and over again and they're not going to be able to hit me but I can still hit them which makes it a really easy way to auto grind Haki because as you can see I am just clicking right here and it's just not being able to hit me now obviously as an example you don't want to do NPCs like these ones over here which are the galley 
which are the galley captains. Now, as you can see, these ones have haki, so no matter what you have, unless you have the chop fruit, you won't be able to survive against these enemies. So if you can see, if you see, um, when I go to light, then they can still damage me, which is very annoying. So that's why you don't want to use this when doing that. All right, now the next option is if you have a private server. Now, if you do have a private server, then I will show you right now. Okay, so now that I'm in a private server, I am going to try and find my highest level things in the in the whole entire game. So not just first C, in the whole entire game. So, here are the NPCs that don't have Haki, and if they try and hit me, they can't hit me. So I just enable the Cutlass, and I just start letting them hit me. Now, now you've got to make sure that you have Haki on, and you've got to make sure that the weapon you're using is a one that doesn't send you forward because for example with my dragon talon if i hit him i move forward every few hits so but the cutlass if i hit it i won't move forward which makes it really easy and that's why you should use um weapons like that but a lot of you might be wondering now how do you actually enable this haki because you might still be in just arms even though you have reached max haki well, to check that, you want to fly over to the Aura Editor, and then you want to click on him, and as you can see, you've got to choose your stages. Now, this is stage 1, so if I turn off Haki and return it on, this is just the normal Haki that you were probably started off with. But, I am going to go to stage 5, and that is your final Haki. So, that is the way that you can actually find out if your... Uh, auto grinding worked and that is also a way to uh, get your haki and change it up and uh, get it all right guys that's all for this video i hope this video did help you out also thank you for 2500 subscribers it's very very nice and uh yeah that's really cool because i had 1300 at the start of the week but anyway i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs> I might take that. You got a vet in my